right, welcome back to CNC Equipment's YouTube channel. That's we're right. uh, not in Nashville, Indiana today, are we? Nope, we're in St. Louis. We're in East St. Louis. We're still in Illinois. One mile. So away from we're St. Louis. at uh, what is it, Archview MX motocross track? Boys yep. got a race this weekend. We are getting ready to get picked up and go look at a possible truck we may purchase. So X Fire Department truck. Yeah, always we're, looking for something. All right, hey, we're making we're making deals. So um, we're waiting on a ride for it. So. We've been over here watching these guys over here stack up salt to salt plant. I guarantee you I would not want to buy that wheel loader when they're done with it. A little rough. It would be. I think they're bagging salt up here next door. But anyway, we're waiting for a ride. We're going to go look at a uh, 87 F350 Ford fire truck. It's only got like 20, 30,000 miles or something on it. So, And if it's roadable, we're going to drive it back here to the tracks about 45 minutes away. And then I may have Tucker drive it all the way back home, which is like another four hours. So. Right. I'm sure it doesn't go very fast, but we'll see what we're getting into. There she is, bud. That's right. 87 F350. That's She's uh, super clean. It's got the 6.9 diesel, and I think it just got the C6 three-speed automatic, so we ain't going to go anywhere real quick, are we? No, no, no. Super clean truck and everything, so we'll uh, give you guys a little tour. We're just picking it up now, but we're going to drive it back to the motocross track. We even got a Honda generator back here. Got our dealer plate in the back. We got only one tank for fuel too. I hope we make it. <laughs> Going 50. 50. It's got some nice aluminum wheels on it. Sharp old truck. Got the big old winch bumper in the front too. So I guess we'll see what happens. All right, just got the truck picked up, heading down the road, getting some nice cheap diesel fuel. It's not terrible. How's she run, bud? All right. She got all the power, don't she? Oh yeah. Right. She's a nice truck. Very nice people that uh, sold it to us for sure. So, very clean. It's got 32,000 miles on it. 6.9 C6. She's probably gonna go 50. What do you think? 49 and a half. Hunter's looking, looking, getting some directions to get us out of here. But uh, got a Honda generator in the back. Super nice truck. Got the Alcoas on her. Tires are from 2017. So, does have just one diesel tank. I'm not sure how big it is, but uh, how many miles a gallon are we going to get, bud? Uh, 12. What you thinking? That's probably, that, yeah, I wouldn't say any more than that. Who knows? I was going to guess around 11 or 10. All right, we'll get filled up here. Did you find some place to go? I found Lowe's. Okay, yeah, we got to go get some goodies. All right, we got our full, what did I say, 11 gallons? Something like that, but okay. She is full. I think it's just got one, probably like an 18 gallon tank or something. That means we're gonna get like 150 miles at a time. How far is it home? What was it? A couple hundred? Two? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Well, <laughs> it's not gonna make it that far. It's oh, which way are we going? You're supposed to left. be direct left. Oh, back across all these traffic. Yeah, bub. This floor, I'm not, I'm not going. Hold on, fast. you got to lean back on the floor. Oh wait, you got me going the wrong way. I thought you're a navigator. It's 0.7 miles extra. Okay, yeah. We That's nothing. We might need a refuel. Look at all these lights. Sirens are hooked up for you. Don't be hitting them, bud. Maybe we get in some traffic. We'll just turn all the sirens and stuff on. I you know if Kevin was here oh, right I, now. I was about to say that. If Kevin was in here. Hey, the mechanical sign's right down here. Oh, I better not hit it. We're right next to the fire station. What about mine? Wait. Yeah, don't hit it, bud. Yeah, so they got sirens on the floor. I don't know. But she's a good old truck. Hopefully she makes her home. Pass full, bud. <laughs> oh, yeah. You holding on to all the power? Yeah, you better. Leans it back in the seat. Oh, she's blowing black smoke, too. Are gonna be sick. That's a little rough. Jesus 
smooth it, boys. the motocross track this is bass pro bro. bass pro shop or are you taking me on a freaking detour uh, you went to lowe's i could go to bass pro what do we need at bass pro i need fishing line fishing line we're not even in indiana uh, that doesn't matter okay you go fishing anywhere you always got to stop at a bass pro or a cabela's don't you that's right you never know what you might need well so far she's doing good she's charging a little more than i'd like to but i guess that's better than not charging but she's only a 55 mile an hour truck, which I guessed at. We, we were cruising down the interstate. Just blowing black smoke out. <laughs> She'll run a little faster, but that's all she needs to go. I think we got down to 45 up the hill. All right, we'll go in here and find some fishing line. Yeah. Uh, we're to the floor right now. We're on the floor. We're getting it, bud. 30. <laughs> we're in traffic. Hey, are we supposed to be over here? Yeah. Exit 3. Look, we're just rolling out black smoke because we're getting it. Uh, yeah, not quite. So Hunter knows how it feels to drive a truck with the windows down back in the day. Going down the interstate. Because <laughs> all you know is 50. Top oh, we can go 60. Down a hill. But she's doing good. We crossed the line, we're in Illinois. It's a good thing we got this traffic so we can slow down because we're going so fast. Yeah, yeah. Um, All right. Huh? Yeah. Uh, Go ahead, bud. Huh. Normally you pass everybody, but now we're getting past everybody. Just wait <laughs> till we get home and Kevin gets to play with all the lights and sirens. Oh, no. It'll be a good old time. I got some plans for this truck, too. Everybody's always wanting to buy these trucks. I got something special coming for you guys here later on, so uh, stick around at the end of the video. We'll uh, we'll see what we got. All right, we made it back to the motocross track. The lights work. The lights work. We just <laughs> test those out. The gate guy wanted to see the lights working. A super cool ant eater up here. A little smaller. Oh yeah. Yeah, shut her off. Shut your lights off, bud. We need some tools over there. Tools? So we're overcharging. Well, it actually went down. I smell. You smell that smell? Yeah, it's oh, hot. Yeah, you burnt some out. No, it's an alternator. It's burning. Is there a pair of uh, zip ties over there? Yeah. How do you like it, bud? It's okay. We need like 60 going downhill. 60 downhill. Lights were getting a little bright. Yeah, the lights are getting bright. Hey, okay. we shut that battery disconnect off under the seat there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna unhook the old alternator here. And drive. She's getting a little toasty. Yeah. Yeah. Can you smell it? I don't know why it's... So it's charging like 18 volts, which is not a good thing. I was gonna say, it was up in the red and then it immediately like went down at three quarters or something. So we'll unhook it and... Uh, no lights or nothing. Yeah. That's okay. He needs us. Don't be turned on your flashy lights either. What? <laughs> Don't be turned on your flashy lights either. I'm not. I just did it the one time now. I'm not. I'm not gonna get myself. So we're gonna put this zip tie around here. So it's hot cable. Don't uh, touch nothing. But... How about that? I'm not impersonating a. Fire. 
Okay, bud. Here's break, your tools. Break those issues. On to the next stop. Oh yeah. Go ahead. You want to wait on it? It's warm. Go ahead. You, you turn your. Oh, you guys turn your battery back on, bud. Hi guys. There you go. Oh yeah, bud. She should come up once the glow plugs turn off. didn't we oh yeah so what we did I fired up the generator in the back of it uh, the little Honda generator and it should charge the batteries up on the truck so the alternator was uh, getting we had to hook it back up it was getting dead so that little Honda generator ought to run all day long we filled up the gas it should keep his battery charged and we should be good to go at least that's what we hope so here we go all right, we're at a TA truck stop somewhere in the middle of Illinois. Mr. Tucker's filling her up with fuel. What? How's it doing, bud? You can't put it on the knobs. No, and watch it. Uh, it'll blow out, too. Yeah, I'm sure it will. I already asked. How many miles did you get? Like 120 or something. 130 miles. You ought to make it home. So, the reason we got the little generator still back here trucking, right? The injection pump requires 12 volt power. It requires 12 volt power to make it run, doesn't it? Yes. We got the little generator back there charging the truck batteries up because we had to take the alternator wire off. She was just charging too much, wasn't she? Yeah, I already put 40 gallons in mine. Yeah. Hey, bud, are you awake? What's going on? We're filling her up with fuel. All right, that ought to be enough to make it home. How's she driving? Pretty good. We had to cruise on 61. Yeah, imagine having to cruise. Oh, that must be nice. Did you make it home? Barely. Barely? It was uneventful after you got the alternator to charge back here. Yeah, with the generator. Your little Honda generator did just fine. So I seen we drove 265 miles. Yeah. I drove about 40 of that, so. Drove just fine, didn't she? She's yeah. not a speed demon. No, not at all. It was just like 15 but, mile per hour. But we made it, so. Um, in the morning, I'm going to fire this thing up, take it to the shop. I'm sure Mr. Kevin's going to want to play with all the lights, and uh, we'll go through a few things. we got to get an alternator fixed, and then uh, we'll tell you guys what we're going to do with it. A good job, Tucker. Let's see if we can freak out Randy here. He probably doesn't know what's going on. Think we's on fire, Randy? I thought that'd freak you out. <laughs> You're lucky you got here for me because I didn't have a gate opener. Well, I just about I did get here before you. Close. What are you doing in my fire truck, bud? I just want to see how to turn all the lights off. This one switch right here. Never had to do it. They're gonna think we got a fire inside our building, bud. Pretty wild. 
Okay, Randy, we're all dark. You know what the one problem is? What's the one problem? We don't know how to make the siren go. It's got pedals on each side. That's a major boo-boo. Hmm. Everything else works. Mechanical siren. I figured you'd like those lights. Oh, I do. See, even got this super sweet 1987 talkie talkie. This is for in case you got something blue. coming in. Looks like Tucker likes chocolate milk. Mm. How many miles is on this now? On the trip -o? 270 something? 271. Your friend Tucker drove us back at 55 to 60 mile an hour. <laughs> <laughs> hey bud. You need a fire put out? We got it. Alright, got the truck up near. Mr. Mason's been clean. I need to get the uh, alternator off. It's going to take a peek under here while you guys are here. We're going to put this truck for sale. I'll give you guys the details here in a minute, but give you guys a close bird's eye view. So I was told all the fluids and stuff were changed recently. It's got a recent oil change sticker in it. He said the differentials and everything was changed. I'm pretty sure I can confirm that by the uh, bolts. I can tell they've been off. Got some fresh silicone. We do have 410 years as I suspected. Uh, Kingpin Dana 60. Here's a radiator core. You guys know anything about these trucks? These are famous for rusted now. You guys can see this one is spotless under here. And uh, we got a worn 12,000 pound winch up under here. Controller's in the uh, glove box, but that's why that bumper's all extended out. Right there's the original into the. Uh, Thing. So if somebody wanted to put the stock bumper back on it, you sure could real easy. The bumper's just right there, so. But, uh, we'll head on back. Everything's super clean. Not washed anything. And we got the greasable kingpins. Remains a little bit damp. Nothing dripping on the ground. C6 automatic. I'm back here to the Borg Warner transfer case. Again, all that stuff works, so got the exhaust. I don't know if it's original, it's probably been replaced, maybe. It does have a muffler on it. But uh here's the uh rockers, super clean. No rust whatsoever. Go to the driver's side. Cab corner area. We got a battery disconnect up under there. You guys can tell this thing's never been driven, driven in the salt or anything like that. So clean, clean. Does just have the one fuel tank. I believe it's a 19 gallon tank. Got the original road from the bed under there. Got good tires. They are 2017 tires, super high tread. You can see inside the fender wheel up there, no rust. If you guys know anything about these service beds, they're famous for rusting out. This one is very, very clean. It's galvanized. Very nice bed. Coming back, got the overloads. Narrow lease for the dual tires. I got a Ford 10 and a quarter, or Sterling 10 and a quarter rear. Again, that bed is very nice. Real rear toolbox area. Super clean. You have a uh, kind of a custom hitch job, but looks like it does the job. So the only thing they done with this truck supposedly is they pulled a boat with it last few years down to the river, so it did not get used in the uh, winter time to speak of. So Mr. Mason's putting on a couple new mud flaps while it's up in the air. Just want to show you guys that. But uh, it is clean. We'll look out here. You guys can see in there. And it's spotless down through there. Another spot they like to rust out is right here. Super clean. Go to the other side and take a peek at it. Cab 
corner. They did take the stickers off the doors. You guys might have seen those blurred out. They didn't want those in the video, which I respect that. So pretty well. There's a little light faint where they was, but uh, not real noticeable at all. So we'll get it down, get it outside here. We are waiting on the alternator for it. Should be in a couple days. Um, I'm going to put the big ambulance fire truck alternator back on it. We'll get her outside and uh, go walk around it real close. Check her out. But yeah, I'm going to leave it all alone. It's a very clean truck, so I'm sure got big old tow hooks up here, but we'll make somebody a nice truck. Can we get her all fixed up? All right, give you guys a little peek under the engine. I don't know if I gave that to you yet here before we take her outside, but got a brand new alternator charging 13.7 volts. Perfect. But uh, here she is. She's not been clean. She's pretty clean on motor. Didn't use any oil. Oil's just been changed on it. Batteries are from uh, June of 22. Got a new 160 amp ambulance alternator on there. Mm -hmm. The only thing we don't have working is the siren. But, so we'll get her backed outside here and I'll maybe if it don't rain on us. We'll walk you around the truck, go through the compartments, and then I'll tell you how you can buy it. What a truck. I thought you had the sirens working, but it was actually just a flock of geese above us. Like or what do they call the gaggle? The gaggle. Do you like the old school beacons yeah. that's sitting there just getting it? The motor's going. The fire department we got going for us right now. All right, we're going through a walk around to the bed. This is a. Who makes this bed? Do we even know? The um, it's galvanized. It's a very nice bed. It's got nice seals around, and double walled doors. Another nice big compartment. It's a deep one too. It does have, so that Honda generator powers these four lights here. They do work. It's got a breaker system there. It's a 3500 watt um, generator. We got pass through compartments other side. A little storage under there. Oh yeah, Pierce Manufacturing is who did the truck, but I don't know if it's their own body, but it's a nice service bed, isn't it? It is. We'll take your hand to the other side of the body. It's all diamond plate covered up. You guys can see all the lights are working. Got another nice deep compartment. Again, there's no rust anywhere. I had you guys underneath. Some geese. And this is that pass through compartment again. Plenty of storage over here, so. Aluminum diamond plate on top. Doors are tight and everything. You guys have seen inside the truck. Door panels look like new. This truck was originally black, I'd say, before they converted it as a fire truck. As much the fire truck stuff over here, I'll show you, but... I'd say they painted it red at Pierce, if I was guessing, wouldn't you? I would say you're correct. Got Al Alcoa wheels, Ford locking hubs. This thing's been painted red. No, the tires are 2017. I believe I pointed that out does have a few little dents here and there. There's a couple on the hood. I don't know if you guys can see them. Nothing major. There's one on the door right here. Got nice West Coast mirrors on it. It is 11,000 GVW. And we got the uh, candle oil. We got the uh, paint codes here. We got the white, candy apple red, the gray spatter. All DuPont Emron, two of eighty-seven. That must be factory uh, paint, then, Jay. I don't think it's been painted. The outside of it? I don't know. Maybe the red. The red. I'm, well, they would have painted the whole door, wouldn't they? Who knows? Who knows? 
But she's clean everywhere. I had it up on the lift showing everybody, but uh, battery disconnect there, all the little flashy lights and stuff, all controlled by here. The only thing we don't know it works, that radio, I'm not sure about that, and the sirens didn't look into that. All the gauges, she's charging good now. But uh, we're gonna stick it on eBay. We are. We are. So as soon as this video comes out, uh, there'll be a link in the description to the eBay auction. We're gonna stick her on there, so. I'm like the service bed, or the other bed. From yeah. the last truck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you guys are always wanting to buy these things. We are gonna stick it on an eBay auction. If this one does well, then we may do the same with the white uh, uh, spy truck in there too. So we've got the worn 12,000 pound winch under there, but very nice truck, very sharp truck. Hard to find, no computer, no electronics, so ought to make somebody a very nice truck, for sure. If the sun was out, she'd be sparkling. Um, but yeah, hop on over to the uh, link in the description for that eBay auction. Go check it out. If you guys are watching this video after that point, and that listing's no good, that means it's probably gone. Um, you can always send an email to be in the description below, but uh, we're going to let it run on eBay and let it sell out, so... You guys just have to get on there and bid um do appreciate everybody watching it's a little bit different video for us so if you guys liked everything you've seen you might drop a comment below give us that thumbs up and uh keep an eye on our auction if you guys are interested bid on it we can ship this truck anywhere uh in the country we can probably ship it out of the country too for you if you need to be so but uh there she is cool looking truck so if you guys not done so and you want to see some more cool stuff like this you might consider subscribing the blue truck in the background is not for sale, so if anybody's watching, it's my own personal truck. So, But uh, we thank you guys, and we'll catch you next time.